Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Wark from ChrisBeatCancer.com and uh, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how I made the giant cancer-fighting salad that I ate every day, sometimes twice a day, when I was uh, doing my chemo-free um, anti-cancer battle. So, um, now a salad's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's a couple rules. One, we try to buy almost everything we can organic. Now there's a list of produce that you have to buy organic and produce that is not that important on my website. It's the top 15 dirtiest fruits and vegetables post, so you might want to look at that. Um, and then we also, uh, there's no meat and there's no dairy products in this salad. So here we go, let me show you what I did. So first, I want to start with some organic greens, either spinach, this is um, baby romaine. <laughs> All right, throw some of that in there. I have some, um, we'll start, with, throw these mushrooms in. Those are organic baby bella mushrooms. And I chopped up some red onion, put that in there. Chopped up some zucchini. I also like squash, but I didn't have any today, uh, but often put squash in it. Some red pepper, uh, I'm sorry, green pepper. I love red pepper and yellow pepper, but right now green pepper is the cheapest. I guess it's in season, so that's what we're buying. Uh, broccoli, some celery, red cabbage, and I've got some avocado, some good healthy fat. Just kind of get that avocado in there. Get in there. Some organic alfalfa sprouts. We, we sprout our own um, beans and lentils. Didn't have any today, but um, when I was really, really hardcore about this, I would sprout um, chickpeas, I would sprout uh, green lentils, um, of course alfalfa sprouts, and I would even sprout my almonds and sunflower seeds. If you sprout a seed, it makes it easier to digest, and so um, I was pretty hardcore about that um, for the first couple of years. Now I don't worry as much about it. All right, so sunflower seeds, almonds, And we're pretty much ready for my salad dressing. I don't want to forget this. This is Bubby's Natural Sauerkraut. I can get it open. The great thing about uh, Bubby's, they sell this at uh, Whole Foods and uh, Trader Joe's and places like that, is it's no sugar, no vinegar, vinegar, no preservatives. The only thing that's in it is cabbage, water, and salt. So put a little sauerkraut on there. This thing's getting huge. All right. And now this is my homemade salad dressing. Extra virgin olive oil, organics, of course, better, but this is not organic. And I put this on pretty liberally. Usually go in a couple circles, go around like this. Liberal with that, and then Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. So, this is really like an Italian uh, oil and vinegar type salad dressing. And I'll just lightly kind of splash that on there because it's pretty potent. And then top it off with the four cancer fighting spices uh, cayenne pepper. Of course, you kind of want to go easy on that because it'll make your salad really spicy. And of course, just do all this to taste. So I'm Garlic powder. Um, I used organic Italian seasoning uh, for the longest time and still like it a lot. Uh, but I was recently turned on to the Bragg organic sprinkle by my friend Jenna. And uh, it is my new favorite because this has all the ingredients that a typical Italian seasoning would have, but it's all organic and it's got 24 different herbs in it. I'm not going to read them all off to you, but um, I'm sort of addicted to it now. It's pretty awesome. Get some Bragg organic sprinkle. And last but not least, some curry powder. I'm going to shake a little bit. Curry powders usually um, are open like this, so you can get a spoon in them, so you got to be careful not to just dump the whole jar on your salad as you're doing this. 
And there's a post on crispycancer.com all about these four cancer fighting spices that I use. There's a post about Bragg Organic apple cider vinegar, um, all kinds of stuff that I like and why I like it and why it's good for you. And there's also a post about this salad called the Giant Cancer Fighting Salad. Okay, so I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Kind of get those spices distributed here. And that's it. And you can see this is a pretty big bowl. Uh, I mean, you will not be hungry for a while after eating a salad this big. And I ate this every day, often twice a day, and um, it just never gets old. So good. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Um, post your comments and let me know what you think about this after you make this salad. Hope that helps. See ya.